trivia game right here. All right, now the moral of the story, be careful what you ask for, or you may have to stare at naked mannequins for the rest of your life. Now on another note, congrats to Jessica Simpson. She's given birth to her third child, Birdie Mae Johnson. She announced it on Instagram along with Birdie's weight, almost 11 pounds, ouch, is all I can say to that. Oh, oh look, it's, it's baby Birdie. Not just big, but pretty hairy as well. All right, I'm not your mama. Go back to mama, no babysitting. Okay, see, I'm a great source of knowledge. And hopefully you want to, because you better be if you want to win today. I'm Sharon Carpenter, your 125 pound presenter at your phone's epicenter. This is HQ, where you use your brain matter to make your pockets a whole lot fatter. And I have a quick shout out. Hello to Lincoln. Love you back, and thank you for playing Lincoln. HQ season three kicked off last night. We heard you like leveling up, so we're dishing out way more points this season. In case you don't know, levels make it a lot easier for you to win HQ. The higher your level, you get a free pass on even more questions. Players who reach level 10 will only need to answer two questions correctly to win the game, and that's the case for the rest of the season. How cool is that? Plus, guess what? This is super cool. You now get points playing HQ Words too. That's right, play more games, win more points, level up even faster with every correct letter. We're also introducing the HQ Words Super Wheel Spin to win packs of letters and extra lives. Hey now, invite a friend to play and you both get a free Super Wheel Spin. Oh, and you said you've run out of friends to invite to the game for free extra lives. Well, big news, we're wiping the slate clean. Re-invite every one of your friends, your frenemies, your enemies, whoever, to play season three. And you both get an extra life. It's a win-win situation, mutually beneficial. They will love you for it, you'll love them too. And you know, we've got more surprises in store because you never know what can happen when we are live. Extra lives, of course, are awesome. You can buy one right now. If you see it on your screen when you use an extra life, you can still play when you get a question wrong. Play HQ five days in a row and you will score a life for free. Use it on any round aside from the final one, of course. Okay, now, today, you're playing for $2,500. It's enough for a whole bunch of naked mannequins and some clothes to make them a little more modest so they're not hanging out all over the place. Later tonight, we're back with Harry Potter Trivia Night. You asked for it again, so you've got it. Trivia at 9 p.m. Eastern, or words at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Bring your wizardry, your quizardry for that one. All right, 44 seconds left until Q1. Now, forget the good guys. This Sunday, we are bringing you Disney villains. Who's your favorite villain? Let us know in the chat. Is it Captain Hook? Is it Scar? Is it Ursula? We'll try not to get too Cruella de Vil on you. 10 Gs will be up for grabs there. All right, just 22 seconds. It's about that time. It's time to get to the quizzing. We've got 15 seconds left. 14, 13, 12, 11, 9, 8, 7. You can count along. Come on, let's do it. All right, one second left. Excited about this one. Okay, let's do it, player, player. Hope you're ready. Here we go with Q1. Which of these is most likely found inside a light bulb? Filament, buried treasure, convenient parking. Let's see, we're getting the game lit already here on Q1. Now, if you picked convenient parking, that was foolish and inconvenient. Seeing the light here is a filament, of course. That is the correct answer, 154,000 of you can see clearly. Filaments are often short and curly. They used to be made out of carbonized paper or bamboo. Sounds like a fire just waiting to happen. All right, ready for Q2, but before we get there, I know you all want to level up as high as you can this season, so we are here to help. You can buy points multipliers if you see it on your screen right now. The more points you earn, the higher the level, the higher the level, the better chance you have at the season three grand prize. It's going to be a lot of cash at stake. Here we go with Q2. What are Japanese cartoons called? Anime, Santa Fe, Canapé? 
<coughs> or Kanye West. Maybe not Kanye. The bright colors, the vibrant characters is the Japanese term for animation, AKA anime is the answer that we were looking for here. Yes, indeed, my niece loves some anime. Look at that right there. It's pretty cool, isn't it? 156,000 if you're painting a pretty picture here. Now somewhere out there, there may be some anime about canapes in Santa Fe, but I usually prefer my canapes in my mouth. Mm, yep. Oh, it, it's baby birdie again. Oh, with the canapes. Oh, thank you, birdie. I'll eat these later. Yummy. Get back to your mama. All right, Q3. What show's new trailer for its third season opens with an 80s ballad by Motley Crue, Game of Thrones, Arrested Development, Stranger Things? Are you an 80s baby? Yeah. <laughs> now, if you didn't pick this answer, you're off to the upside down, I'm afraid. Finally, it's here. The only other season three that matters is Stranger Things. Stranger Things, of course, one of the best shows on Netflix. At least someone's happy I'm home. Did you recognize that song by Motley Crue? Yeah. All right, 114,000 of you did, and you're excited about the new season. Now, the trailer kicks off with Motley Crue's 1985 hit, Home Sweet Home. Not so sweet when the Demogorgon is around. Not very sweet at all. Q4, which is not one of the watercraft included in the board game Battleship, Submarine, Aircraft Carrier, Corvettes. <clears throat> Have you played Battleship before? Bloody you battling it out in the game right now. If you went for Submarine, you just got sunk. Yes, it's a ship, but not in this game. A Corvette is the answer we were looking for. 131,000 of you speeding forward with the top down. Originally a pencil and paper game, it later spawned a plastic version, a video game which did have a Corvette in it, and a really sucky movie starring Rihanna. Love Rihanna, but not the movie. Q5. Between the start and end of the first Back to the Future movie, what happened to the shopping mall? Changed its name, added a bookstore, closed down. How carefully were you paying attention the billionth time you saw this movie? If you tapped on closed down, I could say the same for you right now. This is your density. I mean, your destiny. It changed its name. You know the name of the game. Oh my goodness, that was a tough one. That was a brutal question. 66,000 of you made it through. You have a bright future. The Twin Pines Mall had two pine trees, but when Marty goes back in time, he knocks one down. Back in the future, it's now a lone pine mall, as you saw right there. Q6. What profession is most likely to benefit from the Maillard reaction? Chef, stunt pilot, photographer. Hopefully you have the right reaction to this question, the right answer too. A stunt pilot could benefit if he's eating on the job. Toasty brown goodness is a chef. A chef. The Maillard reaction, yes, 43,000 of you got that right. That was another brutal question right there. When amino acids react with sugars at high temperatures, it creates the nicely browned reaction. Bread, marshmallows, meat, whatever. We all benefit, not just the chefs. Quite delicious, I'd say. We're halfway, it's Q7. What gemstone comes in every color except red? Because when red, it's called a ruby, garnet, sapphire, topaz. Oh, I know about my precious stones. The more expensive, the more I know about them. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, but we're pretty tight with this gem too. The usually blue beauty is sapphire we were looking for. Yes, indeed. Beautiful blue sapphire, 33,000. If you got that correct, sapphires actually come in every other color of the rainbow, but when they contain chromium, they're red and they're rubies. How precious. Q8. Let's go. In The Great Gatsby, Tom and Daisy have the same last name as a famous real life what? Hotelier, US president, astronaut. <clears throat> you've seen the movie, you've read the books. They were the Jazz Age's most dysfunctional couple, the Buchanans, perhaps related to a rather famous US president, I'd say. 28,000 of you knew that jazz dancing on to the next round. Some historians rank James Buchanan as one of the worst presidents ever. He went by the nickname Old Buck. Well, it could be a lot worse, and maybe it was. Q9, the earliest known version of the Hippocratic Oath mentions the name of what Greek god? Athena, Zeus, Apollo. 
Who signs the Hippocratic Oath? Well, you know, doctors sign it, don't they? If you went for Zeus, you just got struck by lightning here because it's actually Apollo is the god we were looking for. 23,000 of you signing on the dotted line. The oath also mentions Asclepius, the god of medicine, but the first name in there is his dad, Apollo, the god of healing. Q10. Which element of the periodic table is named for the creator of the periodic table? Mendelevium, Laurentium, Rutherfordium. What do you know about that periodic table though? It's hard enough putting together a table from Ikea, but who built the periodic table? First name, Dimitri Mendelevium is the answer that we were looking for here. 28,000 of you, well, actually 22,000 of you alleviating that question. Mendelevium is the first element that can't be produced at macroscopic quantities through neutron bombardment of lighter elements. Got it? Good. Q11, the penultimate round. In its last season, the sitcom Too Close for Comfort was called what? Even Closer. The Ted Knight Show, Three Close for Comfort. Was this ahead of your time? During your time or after your time? Even Closer will get you even further away from today's cash, I'm afraid. Here's some comfort for you though, if you're close. It's the Ted Knight Show. Show, you showed me what you got right there. 18,626 of you did. The Ted Knight Show was the second sitcom with that name, starring the same guy, Sir Ted. He was a knight, right? Okay, swords at the ready, because we are charging into the final battle. 18,626 of you left in the game. 766 using extra lives to get back in and $2,500 in the bag today is Q12. Earth's greatest sheer vertical drop is the side of a mountain in what country? Chile, Canada, Nepal. Don't drop off. You're almost at the top. You would not want to find out this answer the hard way, that's for sure. If you slip up the summit of Mount Thor, you'll have 4,100 feet to go. Roughly 16 seconds to make out your will before you smack into the frigid tundra of Baffin Island. Well, where's that? It's in Canada for the win. We've got 15,050 winners. You smashed it. <laughs> Congratulations to our 15,000 and 50 winners. That is a good amount of winners today. Well done to all of you. You are super smart, aren't you? You are taking home 17 cents. We've got Magic Man. Yeah, from Gremlins. That was some magic winning right there. We've got Cam Slam. That was a slam dunk. Uh, Jenke558 over there. Picture of a car. That's really interesting. And Apermax, oh look at that little cutie with his tongue hanging out, he's super excited about that win as well. Yeah, well done to all of you. You could buy baby birdie some milk or something with that cash right there. Well done, H cuties, that was so awesome. You came, you played, you totally slayed. I'm Sharon Carpenter, here's where you can find me. Don't be shy, stop by and say hi. Don't forget, we've got Harry Potter night starting at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. Trivia followed by words. How will you fare against Lord Voldemort? We will see tonight, won't we? Until then, have an epic rest of your day. See you soon. Bye.